Okay, we're going to talk about how uh, plants transport water and nutrients. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw like a schematic version of a plant. And there's some great roots, a couple of leaves, and a beautiful flower. Such a great artist. Okay, so what you need to know for this is that um, underneath the ground, which is where the roots are, this is the ground, um, there's molecules of water in the soil, there's potassium in the soil, um, there's nitrates in the soil, there's, there's oxygen in the soil, uh, there's quite a few um, different compounds in the soil. And what the plant does is it gets its um, nutrients and water from the soil. And what happens is, is there's little holes in the sides of the roots. They're tiny little holes. You wouldn't be able to see them. And through those holes, the plant sucks up nutrients and water. And they have these little transport system. They're like little roads that go travel from the, the roots up to the rest of the plant and they might drop off something in the leaves, they might drop off something in the stem, they might continue up to the flower and drop off something. And so these roads are called vessels, just like blood vessels. They're little tubes that carry things. And they'll carry water and nutrients up into the plant. Okay. So what you need to know is that the plant gets water and nutrients uh, from the soil through the roots and transports them through a series of tiny little tubules that drop those things into the various parts of the plant. And you want to remember that when we watch the video with the flowers that were in the water, let's say the water was blue, there's some blue water in here, what happened after a certain period of time, that blue water was transported up the stem and it actually started to make the flower blue. So you could actually see the fact that the water transported up the plant and brought the water up to the flower.